UFA students are fighting red tag policies that police excessive noise around campus. Not in your sides, Alexa Liako has more on what students want from City Council. Having five people in your house and a noise complaint from a neighbor could get you one of these, a $500 fine and a six month probationary period with TPD. Red tags are supposed to be designed as a way to keep loud parties under control, but it's a tolerance policy. Red tags are the thing that are getting out of hand. And now U of A students are petitioning the city to change this ordinance. We want it to be that there's clear decibel limits from a certain distance from the property. There's actually a city ordinance that says what excessive noise is, but that law is not linked to red tags. So we want to make this law a lot clearer so students aren't targeted. The petition now has more than 760 signatures asking the mayor to stop what many say are unfair ticketing practices. If a resident takes a video of the party or what's ever going on, they don't even, the cop doesn't even need to be there. He just looks at the video and can issue a red tag. I understand that the police officers could, even if they're busy, uh, ticket the house if they find an accumulation of uh, disposed cups and beer bottles. But one city councilman says using evidence for a zero tolerance policy is the only way to go. We have a noise ordinance, we have a nuisance ordinance, and we have a red tag ordinance. If you don't want to be cited, don't violate any of the three. Many community members around campus have applauded the red tag policy, but some homeowners say the enforcement is just too much. There are some parties that are so egregious that absolutely the police should give a ticket, but that should be the discretion of the police officer. That shouldn't be uh, arbitrarily set. And officers do have some discretion, but students argue it's not enough, especially with such an expensive violation fee. Or face even more money to try to contest it in court, which a lot of them can't afford. Students can also face academic consequences, which Councilman Kazachik says should send a strong message. You need to respect the quality of life of the people around you. But the students have a message too. Re tag laws to take down parties, but not take advantage of students. Alexa Liako, KGA 9, on your side.